Folks, welcome to Differential Equations Episode 2. I'm your host, Harvard researcher Rifat Bari, and today we're going to explore how to use a certain factoring technique to dissolve a differential equation. So let's head to the lab and check out how to solve differential equation number 2. Here's the differential equation we're tasked with solving. dy dt plus half y is equal to half e to the t over 3. Now, all, of, all we have to do here is solve for y. Now, if you're a high school student, you might think, hey, this is easy. Just take dy dt to the other side and isolate y by multiplying both sides by 2. Well, not so easy, student. What we have to do here is solve for this y, the y stuck in dy dt. And you can't just isolate it like a regular y because dy dt is a function of y. And now if your high school dropout, well, sadly, I'm not teaching you anyway. You're not in my audience. So let's, uh, let's figure out how to solve this equation. The trick is you have to multiply it by a certain factor. And that factor is not a number, it's going to be a function. Let's call it mu of t. Now if I multiply both sides by mu of t and just distribute, what am I left with? I'm left with mu of t. Let's write dy dt in the standard form as y dot plus half. I distribute this to this term and I have mu of t times y is equal to half e to the t over 3 times mu of t. Now you're wondering why did I do that? Why is that useful? Well, it's almost like you multiply a fraction by 3 over 3, which is another way to write 1. All I did here is multiply by a little function that keeps the equation the same, but it's going to help me in a very subtle way. What is that way? Look at the structure of this equation here. What does it look like? It looks like we have a product plus a product equals something. That should remind you of the product rule, right? If I take the derivative of mu of t with y, what am I going to have? Well, just apply the product rule. You're going to have the derivative of mu of t times y plus mu of t times the derivative of y, right? That's just the product rule. Okay, and so now if you look at this carefully, you're going to notice that something looks very nice. This term over here, mu, mu prime of t times y, is very close to this term. And this term, mu of t y dot, is exactly the same as this term. So to make these two equal, all I have to do is make sure these two terms are equal. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm just going to set these two equal to each other. So we're going to have mu prime of t is equal to half of mu of t. So what is this saying? This is saying, this equation is saying, there is some function, mu of t. And if I take its derivative, it's going to give me back half of that function. What does that sound like? What function... What very famous function did you learn in Calculus 1? That if you take its derivative, you get the original function times a constant. Do you know the function? Pause the video and try it out. If you don't remember, well, keep watching. I'm going to tell you the answer. The answer is e to the t, right? It's the exponential function. So that means mu of t is nothing but, is nothing but e to the half of t. And if you're wondering why half of t, well, it's so that when you take the derivative, you can take this half out and you're left with half of the original function. Now, be careful because this is not the most general form. If you want the most general form of mu of t, you have to multiply it by a constant c. Okay, for this example, we're going to just let c be 1. So it doesn't really matter in either case. But make sure you put this c for the most general form of mu of t. So now that we know what mu of t is, we can come back to the original function and multiply both sides by mu of t. So what happens when I multiply both sides here by, now I know what mu of t is, now I don't have to write that, I can write e to the t over 2. So what happens when I multiply both sides by that? Well, this is what I get. I get, I get e to the t over 2 dy dt plus e to the t over 2 times half y is equal to e to the half e to the t over 3 times e to the t over 2. Now, by construction, this 
sum over here is the exact same as this. That's how we constructed mu of t. So we can replace this by d dt of, now we know what mu of t is, right? We can write e to the t over 2 uh, times y is equal to, on the right hand side, just, just simplify this, basic fractions, t over 3 plus t over 2 is going to give you what? Well, let's do the math. You're going to get 5 over 6 t. Now we're almost done. What do we have to do? We have to isolate y, right? To isolate y, just integrate both sides. Just integrate both sides with respect to t. And so if I integrate both sides with respect to t, well, the integral of a derivative is just cancels out. And so on the left-hand side, let's write our work here. On the left-hand side, I'm going to have e to the t over 2y is equal to and on the right hand side I have the integral of an exponential so that sounds very easy I'm gonna have half 6 over 5 so I'm gonna have half times 6 over 5 times e to the 5 over 6 t and don't forget your plus c because there's an entire family of functions that satisfy that integral so if I just simplify I'm left over with e to the t over 2 y is equal to 3 over 5 e to the 5 6 t plus c and now, to top off this very simple problem, all we have to do is isolate y. And now the high school dropout is correct. All we have to do is divide both sides by e to the half of t. And so my final answer becomes y is equal to 3 fifths e to the 5 sixths of t plus c over e to the t over 2. And of course, you can simplify. That's just basic algebra. But this is our final answer. All right, folks. Thanks for watching this episode of Differential Equation sponsored by Brilliant.org. We're going to check you out in the next episode. The embedded plus MKO plus scaffolding equal learning. We believe anyone can learn anything. That's why our motto is memorization is a crime. And that's why we partnered with Brilliant. Brilliant transforms math and science into hands-on activities so that you too can understand everything from first grade math to E equals MC squared. Barry Science Lab and Brilliant is your MKO and will give you the scaffolding to expand your ZPD until you become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. Visit brilliant.org slash Barry Science Lab today. And the first 50 of you to use that link will get a 20% discount on the Brilliant annual subscription. Don't, Don't forget, forget that you too can become, can become the, the next Einstein. Einstein. So, so let's, let's fall in love, love with math and science. science.